tribe. Look at this. We have a triple XP multiplier. What's going on tribe? How you guys all doing? Today, we're going to be looking at the Division 2, a new update, new patch note that they've released. So the developers of Division 2 have posted on uh, X, aka Twitter, the new patch notes for this title update on September 3rd. So we got the title update 21.4. And other than having the season finale in this new patch note, 21.4, the developers have fixed the rock and roll bug, i.e. the annoying issue with the missing ammo when reloading after swapping to a fully loaded weapon. Yeah, they fixed that. So for those of you who have noticed this problem, this has been going on since Project Resolve, and now it's finally fixed. The next one um, is a bit odd, Tribe, but bear with me. So the named weapon... The cooler will no longer consume rifle ammo and will have an unlimited supply of water to give hazard protection. Huh? Now, this is weed. However, on a positive note, the rifle ammo is not going to be touched anymore. You know what I mean? So when shooting the cooler, you're not going to be using any more rifle ammo, which is a good thing. And I, I think the rock and roll bug, that's a huge fix. Like W developers for actually fixing this. Finally. Now, the next up, we've got exploits. Oh, my God. Now, in this patch note, the developers have also paid attention to the exploits. Now, all agents in the division are um, no longer able to exploit the manhunt briefing side missions for XP. And the dark zone on matchmaking system by not claiming the shade watch. So, players in the day were able to be in a dark zone from zero to up to 250 if you didn't claim your shade watch you were able to go in a dark zone from zero up to 250 but now the developers got rid of that so you can't do that anymore next up we've got vanity in this patch now developers have also fixed the vanity in this new patch 21.4 as we read along here so the od cowboy sunglasses no longer clip with multiple hats which is, uh, I mean, I don't really care about this one. I haven't really had a look into it. But they also have the OT's robotic jacket clipping with backpack fixed. So I actually got a couple messages from people telling me that the backpack of the robotic jacket is clipping. It's not making my character look good. So now they've fixed that problem, which is, you know, W devs. Now, resolved missing textures on jackets and skirts when wearing the OT's robotic pants yeah now moving on from that we have a look at the section called other now players can now obtain found footage 9 and 10 in the vanguard legacy climax missions which is pretty cool if you ask me and when doing the standard tanker kelso mission players can now obtain found footage which is 9 and 10 from the vanguard legacy climax missions now it's when, um, I think it's called the Standard Tanker Kelso Mission also. So we have specializations um, in skill mods, no longer require level 40 to equipped, which is, that's pretty good for new players also. Uh, they fixed issues with uh, targeted loot drops uh, during the Wani campaign. Now, various stability and performance enhancement, as always, they take care of the little patches here and there, which is good, good on them for taking care of this community and keeping updating on this game. Now, this patch note is the season finale. If you guys are with me, it's it's the season finale, which means the last manhunt of the season before the DLC drop. Why? Because the season two will lead us into the DLC. Remember the DLC is supposed to go live at the beginning of 2025 and at the end of this year, 2024, which is going to be during the season two. So let me quickly go in game now. We've done, we've had a look at the patch. I'm going to walk you through what's happening in game as soon as I opened it today and run you through what I found interesting and things that they haven't really mentioned in the patch note. So bear with me now. Going into the game, we have now like the XP multiplier. They said it's going to be a double XP multiplier, but tribe, tribe, look at this. We have a triple XP multiplier. An XP multiplier, like a triple XP multiplier is going on right now. Not a double. And for the first 15 levels, you have triple XP. Let me repeat that. First 15 levels, 
you have triple XP. Now, moving on to the appearances, they've added two new outfits named the Aaron Kena. Now, you guys check this out. I prefer this one. It looks so much cleaner. It doesn't give off too much of a intimidating look, but at the same time, it gives that edge of Aaron Kena's outfit. Now, that's all I gotta say about that. Anyway, now, let me quickly let you guys know how to earn more than 2 million XP. Yes, over 2 million XP. It's gonna be the easiest 2 million XP you ever earn. Now, what does that mean? It means that you will have three shade levels immediately, tribe. Now, to get this easiest 2 million XP, 2 million over, like 2 million, it's over 2 million actually, XP. You gotta quickly go to your projects tab and have a look at your weekly projects. Now, you should see it says 700k XP. Now, all you've gotta do is complete this weekly project and you'll be rewarded with a 2.1 million XP. Now, Tribe, as I said, you know what that means. It means that three shade levels immediately will be consumed. You will gain that immediately. And I think that was all for today. We covered the new patch. We covered what's inside the game of the new outfit. We covered how to earn the over 2 million XP in the game. And also, before I let you guys go, there is going to be times five xp multiplier coming up so it's not only gonna stay at the times three but there's also gonna be a times five coming up but that is gonna be on my next video when i discuss with you guys the first rogue ending cutscenes of the division um new patch i'm gonna let you guys go for now peace enjoying this video make sure to go down below and subscribe right now while you're at it press the like button and make sure you press the bell notification right now comment down below what video you guys want to see me do next and thank you guys